Hey guys, Fernando here, and today we are going to be reviewing the DC McFarlane, um, DC Multiverse Superman. This is made by McFarlane Toys. Um, this is the second DC Multiverse toy I have had. Um, the first one I had was the Superman Unchained armor. So nice I still have a regular Superman now. And, uh, yep, let's take a look at the box before we get them open. So right here, we can see it says DC Multiverse. It's name, Superman. Here's the side. Here's the top. Here's the other side. Superman. And this is from Action Comics, um, issue 1000, I believe. DC Multiverse again. Nice thing up there. But up here, 22 moving parts, made by McFarlane. Flip it around to the back. To the back, we see a nice image um, of Superman from the comic, um, Action Comics 1000. Looks really nice. Each figure does come with a collectible trading card. Here's the bottom of it. Collect them all. We have the animated Superman. Unchained Superman, right there. Got Batman from Detective Comics 1000. We got the Batman Who Laughs and the Bat Raptor. That's really nice. And uh, yep, that's it for this. Um, that's it for the box, and I'll be right back with the toy open. Um, before I destroy this, I just want to show you the inside of the box. See, it looks really nice. It's blue and white with some like comic book artwork in the background. He does come with a flight stand and the trading card. I will show those more um, when I take these out. Just want to show you it because to get the stand out, I'm going to have to destroy all this. So, um, yeah, it looks really nice. So. And here is the Action Comics 1000 version of Superman um, out of his box. Um, this is what the figure is based on the action, the comic book, Action Comics 1000, I keep saying it. Anyway, here is the included card. As you can see, it is the same image that we saw in the back of the box. Here's the back. The data file right there. See, the comic looks like it came out in 2018. Real name, Clark Kent. And a bunch of other stuff. And then here we go. Here's some information on Superman. You can pause it and read it if you would like to. That's it for the card. Nice hard plastic. He also does come with two different hands. He comes with a right fisted hand. It does in the little fist. Let's see if my camera would focus. So fist. My camera doesn't want to focus. And then he comes with a gripping hand. Which I don't know why they included this. Um, he doesn't come with any accessories to hold on to. But uh, yeah. And these can just simply switch out with the regular hands. And I do have him on this flight stand. Right there. The flight stand is actually really cool. I almost knocked him over. Um, let's take a look at that flight stand first. And I knocked my phone over. Knocking everything over. Okay. Here's the flight stand. Um, this entire piece is a separate piece. You just slide it onto the base. It's a clear plastic. There's a peg right there in case you don't want to put Superman on here. DC. All of this is clear plastic. It's very nice and sturdy. Um, you can close these up. Open them. Go very far. Also go down and up you can also swivel it all the way around it's a little tight uh, it has a ratchet joint that's what that noise is that's what that noise is anyway, no, enough of his accessories is actually take a look at this superman and this superman looks very very cool i really do like it uh, let's go over to his articulation the head does go all the way around. You can look left, far, up. 
left for down. You can also look side to side, which is very nice. I do like the sculpt on his head, the sculpt on the hair, looks very nice. I also love the S on here with a red metallic paint. Very shiny, it looks really cool. Um, in person, it looks way shinier than what it looks like on camera. A nice blue suit, his um, red underwear with a yellow belt. The articulation on the arms, go left far up. There is a butterfly joint, so you can move his hand a little bit forward, a little bit back. Swivel at the shoulder. There is a swivel at the bicep, it's a little hard. A single bend at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, a bend at the wrist, and right here on his chest or his abs, you can go left far forward and left far back. You can also swivel and you can move side to side. You can move him at the waist right here. It's actually the um, easier to move him here on his chest and his waist. It's way easier than the unchained Superman, mostly because it has like a lot of armor on it. And the legs can do the splits. Go that far back and that far forward. A double bend at the knee, right there. On both of the knees, you can swivel him at the ankle. Bend him at the foot, very nice. And you can also move him at the toes, which is very cool. That's it for the articulation, and he does stand well on his own without the stand. You just have to find the right position. Um, this cape looks very cool. Um, it looks very nice, it's already sculpted on. It's not a fabric cape, obviously, as you can see. It's a soft plastic, but it looks very cool. Um, it's also very thin thick as well so it just attaches to his back it's not removable but looks very cool again that head sculpt looks amazing um all the muscles on him look great there also is some texturing right there like a little pattern you can focus can we you can't really focus but there is a little bit of a difference right there you can see my camera doesn't want to focus but it's a little bit, um, it has some texturing right there. Um, it also goes down the leg here. No, it doesn't go down the leg, but there's a, like, line going down the leg. Um, the boots look great. Um, this figure just in general looks great. So I also have these weird things on his wrists. And they are just sculpted on. These are the hands that he already comes with. Which has regular, calm, open hands. Easily switch it out, just tug on it, and then you can get one of the other hands. Here's the fist, you can put it on just like so. Very cool. It does look a little weird with that ball joint just sticking out, but it still looks good. And um, yeah, this Superman is just very cool. Um, very quickly, I want to compare him. To the unchained Superman armor right here you can see there definitely is a size difference this one's like a head taller there are the two characters right there um their bases are also different here's what the regular base would look like and here's the other Superman base the one I just got see there is a size difference in those but it's not really big, you know. It's not a big deal, but yeah. Let's put him aside. And yeah, the Superman, again, very cool. I love the S on him. It's very shiny. Looks very, very nice. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this figure. Very quickly, I just want to show that you can get him into a flying pose. This is the best I can do. Um, maybe you guys can do better, but uh, yeah. And yep, that is it for this um, video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment. And uh, yep, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.